um, so I just filmed my St. Patrick's Day makeup look. Um, and as you can tell, it's kind of a greenish gold smoky eye. Um, and this was my first makeup tutorial that I filmed, so it's a little rocky. Um, but I promise they're only going to go up from here. Um, so I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, and, you know, feel free to leave any suggestions. Positive feedback is always appreciated in the bottom bar below. Um, but stay tuned, and here's my St. Patrick's Day look. So, for this look, um, most of the eyeshadows and most of the products actually come from the Urban Decay um, 15th Anniversary Palette. Um, I've taken all, I've taken the base with all of the shadows and the products out of the palette and it's sitting in front of me to use. Um, so what we're going to do first is we are going to take the Urban Decay Primer Potion or the primer of your choice. Um, I also like the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Um, I really like the Candlelight Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I like the sparkle that it gives. Um, but we're just going to take a tiny amount of the Urban Decay and just rub it all over our eyelid. And for this look, you want to make sure that you do get some in that inner corner and under the eyelid as well. So there's that. Um, and I am also going to conceal um, our under eye area. Um, and for that I'm using the Maybelline um, Dream Lumi Touch Concealer. Um, it's kind of just a brush concealer and mine is very messy. That you just click up and then you brush on under the eye. And because it is an illuminating concealer, um, it's okay for it to be a little bit lighter because it's going to illuminate. So I just brush that on. And by the way, mine is in the color Nude. And then just tap that in. It looks a lot lighter on camera than it really is. We're just going to blend that. Okay, so then what we're going to do for this look, um, because it's a little bit of a lighter look, is I'm going to take the Maybelline 24 hour color tattoo and this one is in Too Cool so it's just a white cream based shadow and this is going to prime the eye as well as um, lighten up the colors so I'm going to put this all over the lid as well and again, make sure to get it in that inner corner. Um, and this we're not going to get, you know, in the lower lash line. Um, but just make sure it's all over the lid. And so next we're going to take um, Urban Decay's Bender. And that's this green shadow, just a Kelly green shadow. And we're just going to take a flat shader brush into that green shadow. And then you're just going to put it on your lid. And you're just going to continue to pack this on your lid until it gets to the color that you want it to be. And 
And then next we're going to take um, Cobra, which is this dark color right here. This is kind of a dark green glittery color. And we're going to take a fluffy crease brush. And you're going to just very lightly tap this crease brush into Cobra. Um, you don't want to really rub it. You don't want to highly condense the brush um, with color. And then we're going to stick it into the outer corner of our eye and kind of make a circular motion and just go in your crease. You want to go in too deep. Um, but we're just darkening up the crease area. And then I'll sometimes turn the brush around and get a different side that maybe has less color and then just blend it out. So we have kind of a, a smoked out look here. And then we're going to take Baked, again from the Urban, De Urban Decay palette, and another fluffy crease brush. And just tap it lightly into that color. And then we're going to kind of shade the inside crease. And this just really helps to blend everything together. And it adds a nice kind of golden glow to your eye. And just keep layering this on until you get the look that you want. And you can always go back to the Cobra. until you get the effect that you, you know, were going for. Now we're going to take a pencil brush or an eyeliner brush, just a thin brush, and go back into that original dark green, the um, Kelly green color, the Bender. And we are just going to press this into our lower lash line. And only go about two-thirds of the way in. Um, I like to go about to where, you know, the black of my eye. And you're just doing this for continuity to make sure that your eye kind of flows um, and that everything kind of goes together. And then from here, we're going to take our NYX Roll-On Shimmer. And this is in Olive. And I'm sure you could just roll it onto your eye, but I didn't want to take off any shadow while I was doing this. So I just rolled it onto my hand. And then I took kind of a, a pointed brush, pencil brush, and just took the shadow right off of my hand and just pressed it on top of that green. And then, you know, just keep adding more to your hand if you need it. And I'm also going to take some of this green glitter and press it into the inner corner of my eye. So then we're going to take another flat shader brush into Skimp, which is kind of just a, a skin toned color. And just kind of run this right under the, the brow, just kind of as a highlight. And then I'm going to take a Smashbox Limitless Eyeliner in dark denim. And this is kind of a unique 
I guess not twist, but a unique idea because this is a blue eyeliner and I'm just going to line my waterline with this. Um, and this definitely just helps to brighten the whites of your eyes um, and it also kind of brings out the green. Now we're going to take our Urban Decay 24-7 liquid liner in perversion and just line our upper lash line. And now we're just going to curl our lashes. This is um, a new mascara that I got. It's the Alme um, Intense Eye Color. And this was actually for blue eyes, which I obviously don't have blue eyes. Um, but I do really like it. Um, I think it's in like slate black or something. Um, but it's just a, a good mascara. We'll just give our lashes a couple of coats of that. And there we have our St. Patrick's Day makeup look. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Um, I hope you enjoyed my St. Patrick's Day look. Um, don't forget to subscribe. And um, I know it was a little rocky, but like I said, it was my first tutorial. Um, so it'll only get better from here. Um, but I hope you guys have a wonderful evening and stay tuned for more you know, tutorials and more hauls and more birch boxes and all sorts of other stuff. Um, and if you have any suggestions for videos you would like to see, leave it in the comments below. And um, have a good night. See you later. Bye.